Well, one topic in the coalition talks to form a new government here in Germany is the legalization of cannabis products. All three parties are in favor of a regulated system for cultivation, trade and sale. German pharmaceutical companies are also hoping for a boost from this. Will we soon see cues like this in Germany too? When cannabis was first legalized in Canada three years ago, many customers were eager to make the first legal purchase of marijuana. I just wanted to be here. Uh, I think it's like a big deal. It's like a historical moment, right? Today, the legal cannabis industry in Canada posts more than 2 billion euros in sales annually. The government closely monitors cultivation and sales. What about Germany? Most of the cannabis here is sold on the black market. That means no quality control with organized crime collecting the profits. The incoming government wants to change that and Canada is a role model, at least for the Greens. The German pharmaceuticals industry is also expecting a boost from legalization. It acquires most of its medicinal cannabis from abroad, for example, from this greenhouse in Denmark. Plants grown here are required to have a consistent psychoactive effect. Now, medical cannabis is already being sold on prescription in German pharmacies. In the first half of 2021 alone, German doctors prescribed 90 million euros worth of cannabis to patients. For four years now, it has been sold to patients with chronic pain or epilepsy. So far, only three pharmaceutical companies in Germany are allowed to cultivate cannabis and only outdoors behind thick concrete walls. But sales of medicinal cannabis are on the rise. So far, most of it has been imported from Canada. And for more on this, I'm joined by Johannes Galois. He's executive partner, import and distribution of medical cannabis at Gika Pharma in Cologne. Good to have you with us. So we just heard that uh, the pharmaceutical companies are also looking forward to a legalization of cannabis. How would your business profit from that? Good morning, Monica. Thank you for uh, being on the program. So. Um, there are uh, very exciting times at the moment to follow these debates. And um, so for us, the main um, topic is how will cannabis be dispensed in the future? And um, for us as a company, um, the priority is to make um, cannabis and cannabinoids accessible to the biggest number of patients uh, in general. So we hope that the total market size will increase. And uh, when we follow the role model in Canada, there is a potential to have up to 1 million patients and users in Germany um, in a relatively short time if right. legalization or a further um, yeah, program is uh, due to happen. Okay, so there, there's big scope. And of course, we're not just talking about patients here, but just normal consumers who uh, like to, to have a, a, a bit of weed in their spare time. And Germany currently posts 230 million euros in the sale of medical cannabis. That's every year. If cannabis was also available as a legal stimulant, then sales could increase by a factor of 17. Some analysts say we're talking about almost 4 billion euros annually. Now, given those numbers, what are German authorities waiting for? That's a lot of money. So that's true. Those are very big numbers. Um, but when we consider that um, cannabis until 2019 has been uh, classified as a class four drug, similar to heroin and cocaine, with no pharmaceutical or therapeutic use, in 2019, all of this changed. And uh, we have a class one classification now, which is granting cannabis uh, pharmaceutical use. And now we are taking big steps um, in already debating a further liberalization and even a legalization in Germany. So for me, this is a very good starting point. And um, who knows what the new government will um, bring on the table, in fact. Right. So are there any downsides, any doubts, any warnings uh, you can share with us? So, in my opinion, um, as a recommendation, I would say that the, the government should listen very carefully to all the stakeholders that they want to involve in their programs, um, beginning with the um, importers, the producers, but also who should dispense it. Uh, if it will be the pharmacists, um, they should be on the table as well. Right. And so then basically, we have to create a professional market environment. 
it's, it's listen to the experts. That's what you're telling us. Johannes Galois, executive partner, import and distribution of medical cannabis at Gika Pharma. Thank you so much.